to my channel if it's your first time watching. So, a selection of retro sweet brands that have ventured out into um, different products. I have um, featured a few um, on some of my other videos, um, but today we've got a few here that we're going to look at. So, the first ones we have um, are these Poppets. Um, brownies now I've got two flavors to um, taste test and of course uh, let me know in the comments if you tried any of these now poppets if you're not familiar with they're um, a little round um, sweet come in a little small um, box um, they now cost about 70p they used to be I think about 20 30 pence something like that but like everything it's gone up so these are poppets minty brownies now, I am a fan of the Poppet Sweets, um, and um, these just say brownies, mint flavour with chocolate chips. Uh, it'd be nice if it was a brownie of an actual Poppet inside, that'd be nice. Um, now, what can we learn from the back? It just says, hey there, ready to pop some uh, deliciousness into your day. Well, my friend, uh, whether you choose to enjoy your Poppet's brownie, as a cheeky mid-morning snack or an afternoon pick-me-up, it is sure to give you your day a little a lift. Our Poppets brownies bring together the delicious flavours of chocolate and mint in a perfectly poppable brownie packed with chocolate chips. So what are you waiting for? Pop open the fun. And you get uh, five in there. Um, who are these made by? Why out of interest? Uh, packed in Spain for Asvina UK Limited. Um, Valo Foods Group. Or oh, yeah, Valo Confectionery, who I think own the Poppets uh, brand. So let's give um, these a go. Now I've got these in. Um, I'll get these in. Uh, no, it wasn't BM, it was Farm Foods, I believe. Oh, they're in a nice little uh, green wrapper as well. So there you go. Now I'm hoping you're going to get a nice minty flavour mixed with a nice uh, brownie. So they've also got their own um, little uh, like um, cupcake um, case in there. Brownies, of course, one of the great... Um, products of the um, baking world. I can smell a little bit of mint. Right, let's see what it tastes like. Will we get the mint flavour? Hmm. Comes through a bit. It's not uh, massively um, over minty. Um, I think I probably would have liked um, some maybe bigger pieces of mint um so you get that little crunch but you only get a little bit of a taste of the mint because then i think that would also fit with the poppets um brand a bit more but they are nice um it's a nice um soft brownie as well um, I think these are only a pound for five, which was good as well. So, if you like um, poppies, give them a go. So, let's try the other um, flavour now. Now, these are poppets orangey. Brownies orange flavour with chocolate chips. Does it say the same on the front again? Oh, yeah. On the back, rather. Oh, that's interesting. It says, um, try me hot. Yeah, that might be an interesting, um, yeah, what would it be like hot? So, orange flavour, I imagine these are going to be very similar. Um, but of course with an orangey flavour rather than a minty flavour. Um, and of course we have an orange wrapper this time. So let's um, try not to knock the camera and open it.
and of course same to the other one. Not really much of an orange smell. Uh, let's see how much of the orange goodness we're going to get. Again, a little bit of orange. Um, of course, we know orange and chocolate and orange and mint are good combinations. So, yeah, it, it's a nice... They are good. Uh, I think they're a good attempt uh, at expanding the Poppets brand. Like I said, probably would just like a little bit more um, bigger chunks to represent the actual Poppets because Poppets are quite um, obviously... Um, Big sweets. Well, continuing with the um, Poppets brand, we now have Poppets cereal. Now, this is caramel flavour. They had a mint one, but I thought as I was trying the mint chocolate brownies, I'll get a different flavour to try it for the cereal. These are from um, BM, uh, £2.75. Um, so there's no artificial colours and flavours suitable for vegetarians. Chocolate and caramel flavour cereal balls. So I imagine the texture is going to be very similar to um, maybe like um, wheat toast, something like that, or um, that kind of um, those cocoa pop rocks, something like that. Probably thinking of, and they've got the. Uh, Similar theme on there, but hey, you ready to pop some deliciousness into your day? Um, pop open the fun. Um, what's interesting, I just noticed on the back there, oh, it's all right, it says, Have you tried our pop? It's salted caramel. Um, because I thought this one's not salted caramel because I'm not much a fan of salted caramel. It's just caramel um, In my opinion caramel is good enough without adding salt to it So we've got um, different color um, Poppets or balls there, so um, I have sometimes been disappointed with these cereals. There's a Kit Kat one I tried in a previous video but um, yeah, I wonder how this is going to be, and I'm sure it's something that would appeal to um, kids. Now, this what was it say at the top? Um, Inventure. So, um, oh yes, it says Poppets is a trademark of uh, Low Confectionery. Um, oh yeah, worldwide global brands. It just says on it. Because when these products um, venture out uh, from their normal uh, sort of range, um, you know, they're made by someone, uh, you know, who um, is an expert in that sort of product development um, under license. So, for example, or like the um, Mars Bounty Cakes, all them are made by McVitie's because obviously McVitie's are used to making um, cakes. So, one thing I noticed actually, they don't tell you the number of portions on the side because normally on the front now, cereal tells you the number of portions, uh, which doesn't reflect what's actually in there normally. So, let's give it a smell. Hmm, not much of a smell, but what I have noticed, they look a bit, um, let me see that in there, they look a bit smaller than I thought they were going to be. But it's the taste that's important, so let's just pour a few in. I've got some milk to hand. There we go. Let's do that. Grab some milk. And if these are any good, I might try the other one as well. Because I imagine these are going to be pretty um, crunchy. You've got a mixture there of the um, dark and the light ones. But I'm going to bring the bowl closer just because I don't want to spill any milk. Okay, so, oh, now I've brought the bowl closer. I can actually, yeah, I can actually smell uh, some caramel. 
Okay, here we go. Very um, crunchy, as I'm sure you could hear. Um, what I will say is, um, yeah, you get a little bit of caramel flavour, um, but like I thought, yeah, they're not. They're very similar to like um, um, Wheatos and those sort of um, ones where they're like a hard. If you don't like a really hard sort of cereal, you like a softer texture in your cereal you might not like them and I'm sure if you soak them in the milk for a little bit um, they might be um, they might go soft a bit just gonna have a few more they're pleasant enough but I think it's one of those examples again of putting um, just the name so the poppet's name in this case to a product and you know like I often say is blindfolded and asked to say what that product was representing I wouldn't be able to say that it was poppets but um, moving on the um, last two we have are um, some different sweet brands now these are so the first one we got is fruit salad mallow spread so fruit salad famous sweets um, been going for a long, long time. Full on fruity mallow spread. And it just says on the back raspberry and pineapple flavour, um, marshmallowy spread. So I've not, um, I've not had a marshmallow spread. Um, I'm hoping this is going to have a good um, fruity flavour to it. I do like pineapple, and I tried the fruit salad wafers. Um, in a previous um, video so um, have a look um, if you haven't yet um, tried that one now it's got a tab to try and remove here and oh, there we go um, now oh yeah so these are uh, just this pack doesn't it just, just produced but the same ones that made the uh, brownies ah it's interesting right so we have that's what it looks like inside and yeah I can detect the fruit salad um, flavor that we know so that's a good start now what I'm going to do, I've got a bit of bread that I'm going to spread it on, but I'm also going to try a bit um, afterwards, uh, just, you know, not on the bread. So let's just pull a little bit on. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very marshmallowy, yeah. Like I said, I've not really had a marshmallow spread before. So I'm intrigued how this is going to be. So there we are. Let's um, see what it tastes like. Mmm. Do you know what that is literally like? If you um, melted a fruit salad sweet and you spread it on your bread, it's not. Um, it's not overly. Um, uh, sweet, but um, you get that fruit salad vibe, which is um, which is really nice. I'm just going to try a bit, just on a spoon, just um, just because you'll get the intense flavour then. Yeah, you get more of a sweetness like that as you'd expect um but it does they've done a good job of replicating the fruit salad flavor i'm guessing because from a sweet until a uh, to a spread it's gonna transition a lot better because they're similar products 
And that's where some of these products unfortunately fail because it's hard to sort of convey a sweet product into say a cereal for example. But yeah, there's a good job there. And um, again, something else um, kids and adults familiar with the brands will enjoy, I'm sure. So staying with spreads, um, we've got flumps, mellow spread flumps are those um, big long marshmallowy sweets. It says um, purposely fluffy vanilla mellow spread. Uh, vanilla flavor marshmallow spread that's all it says on the back interesting on the fruit salad one of course it said um, is it pineapple and raspberry raspberry and pineapple yeah same thing just backwards um, you don't get a lot of the sort of individual flavors but it is so reminiscent of the um, um, fruit salad flavor so this one, let's see, just white inside. Yeah, that definitely reminds me of flumps. Okay, so um, let's let's just spread a bit. I'll use the same knife, but um, get a bit on there. And let's hope that this one is. Um, I think it, it well, I think it's going to be very similar. So here we go. Hmm. Yeah. That reminds me of the um, flumps sweets. And then I'm just going to try a bit again. Just on a spoon, just get the intense flavour. Yeah, it definitely tastes like um, flumps. I'd say out of the two, um, I probably like the fruit salad one um, the most, probably. Um, I wonder if there's a blackjack one, because that would be really nice. Um, I will look out for more and if um, there's enough to do another video I will but let me know if you've tried any of the other ones like I say there's another poppet cereal and there might be more brownie ones I'm not sure um, and um, yeah I'll, uh, um, I'll maybe do another video um, so yeah overall I like the brownies um, probably the uh, I don't know actually both pretty equal a cereal is okay, but probably as I guess the least disappointing in terms of transitioning um, the actual brand. Um, and these spreads, yeah, the fruit salad one, really pleased with that. The thumps one is nice too. So um, thank you for watching, and like I said, let me know if you tried any of these and what your thoughts are of them in the comments. And uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, consider subscribing and ring that bell for notification of further taste tests as well as other um, videos as well always one new video every week and I'll see you in the next video bye for now